नमस्कार सो आई होप यू आर इन बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड इक्वली इन जॉइन यूर स्टडीज एट द मोमेंट सो अगेन अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी हैव टू फॉर्म पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन बाय एलिमिनेटिंग द आर्बिट्री फंक्शन सो वट इज द इक्वेशन विच इज गिवेन इट इज जेड इक्वल्स टू एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस ए वाई प्लस जी ऑफ एक्स माइनस ए वाई लेट्स एज्यूम दिस एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ एज यूजल फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू पार्शली डिफरेंशिएट पार्शली डिफरेंशिएट with respect to x taking y as constant so from there you will get del z by del x now derivative of first functions so f dash x plus ay then you will go inside derivative of x is 1 that of ay is 0 so no need to write anything multiplied by 1 just plus g dash x minus a y you will go inside derivative of x is 1 that of minus a y is 0 so just multiply it by 1 no problem so you can name this as equation number 2 again next step is to partially differentiate with respect to y taking x as constant so from there you on you will get del z by del y equal to uh f dash x plus a y now if you go inside you will get x plus a y derivative of x is 0 and that of a y is a because this time you are doing partial derivative with respect to y similarly g dash x minus a y that of x is 0 and that of minus ay is minus 8 now this will be your equation number 3 if you look at equation number 2 and 3 then uh, it will not be sufficient to eliminate because if you are thinking that you will uh, take a to the other side that means a to the lhs in equation number 3 and then you will try to uh, eliminate then also if you see you are not able to do something better because uh, if you add then the second term will get cancelled but first term is left twice same is true for subtraction so i think this is not sufficient what we will do is to again differentiate equation number 2 and 3 okay so this was your p this is your q okay so if i want uh, i can differentiate p again so differentiate equation 2 with respect to x what you will get either you write this as del p by del x or this is same as writing again derivative if you do of del z by del x then you can write del 2z by del x square both are same thing equals to derivative of f dash x plus a y is f double dash x plus a y you will go inside derivative of x is 1 that of a y is 0 same story is for g dash so it will become g double dash x minus a y multiplied by 1 equation number 4 and what is uh, the notation for del 2 z by del x square it is r so you write r equals to this moving to the next page then i have equation number 
which I have to again differentiate with respect to y partially differentiate equation number 3 with respect to y so it was q so it will come del q by del y or you can say del 2z by del y square same notation is there is t not s t s is del 2z by del x del y what will this be equal to f double dash x plus a y into a is there x plus a y now one a was already there one more a will come so this will become a square then again g double uh, g double dash uh, from equation third g double dash x minus a y one more minus a will come so it will become a square so g double dash x minus a y into a square Okay, so your t, this is t, so you can directly write your t equals to, if you take a square common inside what you will get, f double dash x plus a y plus g double dash x minus a y and this is nothing but from previous equation, from equation number 4, this is R. Isn't it? Fine. I don't think uh, it will be any sort of confusion. So this is the final answer T equals to A square R. Again, there was no uh, major problem which we had. We just had to eliminate. But this time, uh, one derivative was not giving us uh, some va valid inputs. So, we move to the other derivative. Okay. So, this is something we need to think uh, a bit higher in this question. Otherwise, this question was again uh, easy. Just thing you have to remember is to eliminate the arbitrary function. So I hope you understood this. Do watch my partial differential equation playlist for more such questions. Thanks and have a nice day.